Okay, here we go, working on stealth. I've got my prototype scene here. We have our enemy character with a AI detection component added to it. This uh, will detect players and other NPCs around the world. And of course has obstruction layers, which is things that the player or that the uh, NPC cannot see through. Um, completely adjustable, you know, fun stuff. Uh, so let's get started. I'll show you how this works and what I got so far. And what I got so far is strictly the field of view aspect of this. We want to show the player just so we know where we're at. We're right here. So we are in the detection radius, but not in the field of view. Uh, in the future, we're going to want to have things that make sound. So when you're behind the NPC, you can get noticed. You're going to actually want to stealth. So right now, he can't see me. But when I enter his field of view, he gets real mad. I'm not even good at my own game. We can very easily leave the field of view and the detection radius as a whole and lose line of sight. Now, if he sees us and we're in the detection radius, he's always gonna remember us, even if we're not in the field of view. The only way to actually lose is to actually get away and hide. Yeah. So what do we got to add to make this better? Let's, let's figure that out. So something a little simple that I think would go a long way is to detect whether or not the character is actually crouched or sneaking behind the NPC. As you can see, I'm just running around. Now tell me, if you were that man right there, do you think you would hear this dude stomping around behind you? Hitting bushes and stuff? You probably would. But, if you were sneaking, it'd be harder to see. And just a way to uh, simulate you being harder to see while sneaking would simply to be lowering the field of view. Now this isn't a perfect fix. Of course there's gonna be sound and whatnot and you're gonna to have to avoid stepping on loud things and whatnot. But overall, the field of view is kind of the master of whether or not you're getting detected or not. So let's, uh, let's start checking for that. How we're going to do that is whenever the player enters the detection radius, there is going to be a check on the NPC whether or not the player is actually crouched or not. And if it is true the player is crouching, the field of view will become more narrow. Otherwise, it will stay its default setting. So let's, uh, let's get that done. All right. So to... Uh, change the field of view to see if the player is within the radius and is stealthing. We have a simple boolean right here, which checks if the player is crouched and if it's within the uh, detection radius. The order targets is, you know, classified down here. It just orders the targets from distance because it'll handle multiple targets. So we have the angle in which the field of view is. If the player is sneaking and within the distance it's lowered. Anything else it goes back to its starting angle. So let's see how this works. I just uh, widened up the angle a little bit just so we can see. I feel like it should be wide anyways. All right, and here we go. As you can see, I walk into the radius, it's fine, blah, blah, blah. I'm sneaking, and he is having trouble seeing now. Works perfect. Here's a little, a little fun looking, looking demo. Let's see what we got so far. 
dude sneaking. You can see him. Uh, maybe my head was a little big. Let's adjust something. Okay, so we are in Photoshop. This is my little planning area. I have a whiteboard in uh, real life, but I'm, I'm not pulling out a camera and doing all this crap. Okay, so you got you guys get Photoshop. So we're doing sound detection now for the enemies. We've got the line of sight. We got the uh, yeah, we got line of sight. Okay, so next up in stealth is sound. You want to be quiet when you're stealthing. Okay. You are a samurai or ninja or anything sneaky like Sam Fisher. Uh, no guns though. Well, yes, guns. You know what? Don't listen to me. We're focusing on this. So, enemy. Okay, patrolling. Whatever. This right here, bush. Player is my mouse. And when the player hits something, they can create a sound and say this dude's looking over here somewhere. Boom, sound trigger. Very simple. A sound thing is just going to check if there's an NPC nearby. It's gonna gather the NPCs nearby and it's gonna tell them to, hey, check this out, come over here where you heard the sound. This will change their direction, which will move their line of sight towards wherever the sound is made. We could do this for simple bushes we can do this for items that the character can throw so you can distract enemies and move along so let's uh let's do this this should be really simple i can show you guys how to do this then let's do it okay so for sound objects things that will make sound we want to be able to do that across multiple classes okay so we're gonna make it an interface. If you never worked with interfaces before, don't don't ask me, because I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. So let's let's wing this. Um, for interfaces, you're gonna have to have functions, of course, so you can you know call your scripts and whatnot. But when you add an interface to a script, say my eye damageable script, it has take damage, death, blah blah blah, it takes the NPC ID. And in the character base, it is a damage bowl and it's an NPC. So this means it has the uh, class, whatever the interface is in, has to have all of the functions that the interface has. Uh, it's just like a quick way to do something. It's like deriving from another script, except you can just keep stacking these on top of each other instead of just deriving one from one script. At least that's what I got from it. Anyways, um, interface. How are we gonna do this? We just wanna make sound, okay? And then, whenever the sound is made, we're gonna wanna make an overlap sphere, which is a, just a simple physics test, collision test. And it's just gonna gather all of the colliders within a radius, but we can check whether or not those colliders belong to an NPC or not. So, I'm gonna write some code, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we got some work done here. So, foliage object, bushes, piles of leaves, trees, etc. There's gonna be more to this specific object type, but anyways, it has the I make sound uh, interface. Therefore, it must make a sound. Simply called, if you enter the trigger, it makes sound. Strictly from the player, because I don't want NPCs to be like running back and forth because they keep hearing each other. Um, it's gonna need a little more work to like decide whether or not the NPC is like friendly to the player. Because if it's just like a random guard, I don't want him to be checking out everything every time. It's just weird. Anyways, overlaps here. It gets the component and it just tells him to move to the location. Very simple stuff. Like I said. I will show you it working in action. Click this so you can see it's just on the side. All right, we are in. Oh, wrong button. So, has no idea we're here. 
sneaky sneaky ready oh no he heard us what's up man and then yeah that's it interesting I wonder why that happened I'm going to assume it's because we're inside of this collider and he's like I don't know you're there eh well I'll figure that out All right, fun little mini game time. Got a whole bunch of things that'll make sound. Got a whole bunch of guards. My self given mission is to go take those cloud leaves over there without being spotted. Here we go. Oh man, I might've made these too close. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Wow, I never knew I'd be so scared of my own game. Oh, we did it. See, the way I have it set up right now is that it takes just like one of the guards whenever you hear a sound uh, to go like check it out because you don't want everyone leaving their post to go check it out. Whenever the NPCs detect the player, I just have to add the call to where they're like, hey, all my buddies around me, let's go get them. That's a real simple thing. It's very similar to the uh, actual sound detection thing. So. That worked perfectly. Good stuff. So, uh, that is our simple stealth mechanic. Um, for now. Of course, in the future, we will be adding on to it just to polish it out and make it even better. But that is the basis of it. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Did you enjoy this video? Do you maybe want to see more videos? Play some of my games maybe, follow me on Twitter, check out my Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes development. That'd be really cool. I would appreciate it. I'm sure you would enjoy it too. I mean, it's, it's some good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but only if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Mixed out.